I've been working with people undertaking renovations and extension for the last few years at the Moreland Energy Foundation. And one of um, my bugbears, and something that comes up very often, is the topic of double glazing. Now, double glazing is a really trendy, high-profile high sustainability item people like to do in their renovations and extensions. And a lot of people ask me about it. And they have the impression that as long as you put in double glazing as compared to single glazing, everything's going to be all right and you can do whatever you like. But I'm going to talk today about a few concepts that highlight the importance to think about glazing properly. Because if you do it wrong, you could really create a bad situation in your new renovation or extension. Now, fact number one, whatever you do, whether it's single glazing or double glazing, windows are always going to be the weakest thermal element in your building. When I say that, I mean compared to a wall, windows are always going to let a lot of heat out during winter and let a lot of heat in during summer and that can't be avoided. Even if you go for the best double glazing or triple glazing on the market, it's never going to perform as well as an insulated wall. So that's the first concept. The second concept is about R values and I'll talk about that a little bit further. So R values is a technical concept and some people get put off by it, but it's actually quite easy. R value simply refers to the ability for a material to insulate. A low R value means the material can't insulate very well at all. A high R value means it can insulate much better. And the easiest way to think about this is if you think about a thin woolen blanket compared to a thick doona. If you put the thick doona over yourself, you're always going to be a lot warmer than if you just put the blanket over yourself. So if you think about R values, you can apply these concepts to different elements within a building. And I've drawn up some um, examples over here. A Insulated wall with a good insulation bat with plaster and weatherboards on it will have an R value of about 3. If you took the insulation bat out of that wall, it would have an R value of 0 0.5, so about 6 times worse than the insulated wall. Now, if you look at the R value of single glazing, that's the worst performing of the lot. It's only got an R value of 0 0.15, about 20 times worse than an insulated wall. So that's going to let out 20 times more heat than an insulated wall, basically. Now, if you spend a good amount of money, you're going to improve that a lot and get your window to R0.5 if you put in double glazing. But it's only ever going to perform as well as this uninsulated wall. It's still six times worse than an insulated wall. So this concept's really important because when you go into a lot of modern renovations, you'll notice that people have glaze the entire side of their room facing out into the garden quite often. And basically that's just too much glazing. It's recommended that you only glaze between 10 to 25 percent of your floor area. Your glazing window area is only about 10 to 25 percent of your floor area. But in a lot of these renovations it's exceeding that quite significantly. So this will basically lead to the situation where it's going to be hard to heat during winter because you'll get a lot of heat loss through these windows compared to this well insulated wall and it's going to be hard to cool during summer because a lot of heat will be coming in. So key message is, is don't get fooled by double glazing. Don't think that you can just put it in and you don't have to worry about it. The second one is remember that methyl has got a renovator service here which you can access and we can help talk to you about these issues. Also look below at the text underneath for a link to further information.